because this is gonna be a dog friendly weekend and I'm really grateful because the Metro North is actually dog friendly. It's actually been a while that I've been wanting to take the train to Connecticut because renting a car can be kind of expensive and tedious if you live in New York City. And plus, I want to be able to explore more areas around New York via train, so I'm really excited for the weekend. I was a little nervous about bringing Pika on the train because he can get like, kind of anxious and he heats up easily, but he's been doing really good so far. Very proud of him. checked into our hotel now. Let me show you the room. It's super, super cute. You walk in and the first thing you see is this bulldog. <laughs> but yep, here it is. Let me start with the bathroom. It is so pretty. Look at the tile in the shower and I just love like the colors on the wall. What's really cool is that they have pretty high-end toiletries here. This is Malin and Goats, which is a, I believe a Swedish brand, but pretty fancy. And melon and goat's shower gel and shampoo, pretty cool. Here's the bed. I believe this is a queen bed. I love like the kind of old, like vintage looking decor here. This is the TV and below that is the fireplace, which looks like it's kind of been redone. And there's some paintings there. I really like the light switches too. They look like this. Oh, they're kind of like old school. Here we've got a little desk with this old school phone, which I think is so cute. And then of course, Pika, there he is. And what's really cool is that because we booked through Expedia and Andrew has a certain status, we got some free wine and they actually gave us two bottles. So I'll be enjoying this later today. And then here's a cute little nook. And let's see our view. Pretty good, it's kind of like a street view. And now we're actually going to go enjoy some dinner. It's almost 8 p.m. and we're both pretty hungry. We are so excited to have some pizza here in New Haven, Connecticut. Everything that I read online said that we have to have the pizza here because it's really good. And what's interesting is that the pizza here, the pizza places, they're not called pizza. It's actually called a pizza. They add an A in front of it because when people from Naples, Italy immigrated here a long time ago, that was part of their dialect. They call it a pizza instead of pizza. And it just kind of stuck all the way through the years. And now a pizza has become a big foodie staple here in New Haven. Luckily, the hotel that we're staying at is pretty central. It's in the downtown area. So because we don't have a car this weekend, we're just gonna be walking everywhere for the most part. So yeah, let's go walk over to some pizza. Good morning. Pika is stuck back there, refusing to walk right now. Um, we're gonna go get coffee this morning and then we're gonna walk around the Yale University area. Really excited because 
obviously because of Bulldog and the mascot for Yale University is an English Bulldog. So we've been seeing like things on the street like banners with Bulldogs on them and we're just really excited. I think we're gonna go to the Yale bookstore too to just see if there's any like little souvenirs we can get. <laughs> Look at how cute it's sitting. <laughs> Do you want to put Pika next to him? Oh, he got on. <laughs> Look. Oh, tell him to sit. Hey, wait, let me get my. I gotta get my phone out. This is the mascot for Yale, Handsome Dan. And I think it's like Handsome Dan 12 now. Like his great, 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 great grandson. No, oh my God, what is that? 18. I can't even, that's 18? Oh yeah. my gosh. Handsome Dan Next 18. Is a he is a five. <laughs> We just dropped Pika off at the hotel. Me and Andrew are gonna go get some lunch now and we're going to quite a historic place. It's called Lewis's Lunch and supposedly it's the first place in the US to sell hamburgers. They have claimed that they invented the hamburger, um, although I'm pretty sure it's German, but it was open in the late 18. 90s it's a really small little restaurant not much seating and they still serve the hamburgers on like toast instead of buns um, the menu is really small and they still use like the way that they grill their meat and their patties is like using pretty old machinery so yeah this is gonna be pretty interesting We're not quite full from that burger, so we're gonna stop by and get a corn dog here. If you've never had a Korean corn dog, you must try. We've had it so many times. I love the one with all cheese, but we're gonna get the half cheese, half hot dog one. Got the goods. All right, go for it. We have sweet chili and ketchup. Ooh, that cheese pool. Our trick to saving a little bit of money every time we eat ice cream when we're out is to get two scoops and just share it instead of getting two of the one scoops because it's a lot cheaper that way. And it's basically the same thing. So we're gonna get strawberry and sweet cream with dark chocolate chip.
actually. It's so good. The sweet cream with dark chocolate chip. It's so creamy. Highly recommend this ice cream shop. It's so good. Like the ice cream is super creamy and it doesn't feel heavy. It's so good. Another bulldog sighting. We're now gonna head to the Yale University Art Gallery. It's free, so might as well check it out and it's right by our hotel. We both just woke up from a much needed nap. We slept for like three and a half hours. Surprisingly, the sun still hasn't set, even though it's like 7.30 p.m., but now we're gonna go and enjoy some Italian food. New Haven's also known for Italian food. I believe there's like a little Italy area, actually. So this restaurant might be in that area, but specializes in Naples cuisine, so pizza and like really simple rustic dishes. So good. The key to the best pizza is using San Marzano tomatoes, which are like the perfect tomato breed for the best pizza because it has the perfect amount of tanginess and sweetness. And it's actually really rare. Like a lot of San Marzano tomatoes are not real San Marzano tomatoes. I know this because I've been watching a lot of Stanley Tucci on the plane. downstairs in our hotel um, it's a really really big space and the decoration here is very Renaissance vibes uh, very very eclectic decor and like old vintage artwork um, I just got a honey oat cold brew let me try mm, actually pretty good tastes like chocolate we have to check out in less than an hour so we're gonna chill here first and then we only have like a few more hours here. We didn't book our train tickets yet, but we will. We just want to have like a chill rest of our trip here in New Haven. I got myself a breakfast sandwich. Ooh. Andrew got an omelet with different fillings in there like sausage and then he got a side of toast and potatoes we're in the East Rock neighborhood and um, it's really nice it's like kind of residential 
little quiet and there's like some quirky shops and cafes and stuff. And the houses here are very like interesting. They look like, what, do you, what would you say it looks like? What era? I feel like it's a certain era. Victorian or something? Yeah, Victorian. The Victorian era. It's so cold right now. We are actually just going to head back to the city now because it's so cold to do anything. And with Pika, he needs to be like outdoors. Um, we were planning on going to a brewery called East Rock Brewery. So if you're ever in the area, go there and let me know how it is. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna take an Uber to the train station now because honestly, we are just too cold to do anything. But this has still been a really lovely weekend. Kind of just getting away from the hustle and bustle of New York City and being able to have all this space and like quietness to walk Pika has been really nice too. So yeah, back to New York City.